It's a much quieter day across the area today. That rain has moved out of the area, but we are still dealing with quite a bit of cloud cover. This is a look at our camera in Carbondale. Again, a lot of clouds have stuck around throughout the day. Those will be sticking around for just a little bit longer. They'll start to slowly clear throughout the overnight hours. Thanks to the clouds and the cold front, a big temperature change across the region today. Temperatures are about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday. So temperatures only ranging from the mid to upper 70s. We've got Sykeston at 77 degrees uh, along with Marion, Mount Vernon coming in at 76 and Paducah at 78 degrees. So getting a little bit of a break from some of the heat we saw earlier this week. Good news is we're going to continue to stay quiet. Your threat tracker bar stays nice and low tonight. Clouds will slowly be clearing out of the area. And then Friday looks like another beautiful day. And then even into the weekend as we'll be kicking off Saturday, another nice day with a lot of sunshine. Here's a quick check of the satellite and radar. Again, that cold front has pushed well off to our east, but what we are still seeing is the cloud cover lingering. That's going to continue to move out of the area as we shift throughout the evening hours tonight. So there are some small changes coming. Temperatures will cool down quite a bit overnight as those clouds clear out by tomorrow morning. Temperatures across southern Illinois dipping down into the mid 50s where we see See a little bit of cloud cover linger, linger a bit longer off into parts of western Kentucky. It may just be a hair warmer as we start the day. Temperatures running a little bit closer to 60 degrees tomorrow morning, but all of us will eventually see the mostly sunny skies throughout the day tomorrow and then high temperatures going to be pretty mild again, running pretty close to 80 degrees. So again, another really nice day to get outside. We're not tracking any active weather and then you'll want to enjoy it though, because we do have an active pattern coming back as we get into early next week. So you'll still want to make sure you have the storm track three app on standby. But for the next couple of days, if you have anything you need to do outdoors, whether that's mowing the lawn, yard work, or just getting out and eating on a patio, the next couple of days, Days look great. We will see some really nice conditions. A small chance for a few showers and storms works its way back in Sunday, but they're very isolated. Most of us stay pretty dry and temperatures are really going to be pretty comfortable. Tomorrow topping out at about 80 degrees. We warm up just a little bit as we get into Saturday, climbing back up into the low 80s, mid 80s by Sunday, and then temperatures kind of hover in the low 80s as we get into early next week. But not every day is going to be as nice as what we're going to be seeing this weekend. So again, lots of sunshine Friday, Saturday, small chances for storms on Sunday. Most of us staying dry though, but notice what happens next week. Scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday. So enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, right. Make the most of the weekend. That's right. <laughs> At least it's nice on the weekend. That's True. Right. All right. Thank you, JC.